Well, hello once again. Welcome to the Lucy McKenzie Humane Society and uh, all the staff here. I'm very pleased to know that Paula behind the camera and Roz here um, are pleased to be here and talking about all the wonderful animals that they hope you will see and come immediately to take home. We, that's what we're here for. Um, and this is Keely is going to uh, start the show. Um, Keely is, uh, came in with a whole lot of black cats. I think you, if you've been watching the show before, you'll have seen this wonderful pedestal of black cats, some of them with white on them and some of them just regular. So Keely was, um, well, let me see, how old are you, Keely? I think you're about nine months old. And when Keely came in, um, he was pretty wild, really wild, and has tamed down absolutely amazingly and um, still has a little ways to go. Um, it would be great if you, um, if you could, um, you know, just take your time and, um, oh dear, we've just lost a cat. <laughs> Somebody just left and the cat got out in a hurry. <laughs> so anyway, absolutely, Keely, I totally agree. Keely says that's no way to behave. Here am I sitting here very nicely being interviewed for a home. Um, and by the way, Keely will interview you too when you come. But it would be really lovely for him to go home and have his own place and his own people. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, probably not very young children because he is still a little nervous. I think they were born in rather wild circumstances. Oh, here comes the, here comes the escapee. Um, that was pretty quick. I could see it coming. <laughs> uh, so come and have a look at Keely. And Keely has several brothers and sisters here too. So you have your choice. Uh, the escapee is actually going home today or tomorrow, so that will be all right. And uh, so as you can see, Keely is um, quite strict about these things and very well behaved. So please come and see him because he needs to come home with you. So now I'm introducing Mr. Bailey. Mr. Bailey is three years old. Uh, he's a transport dog, which means he came from somewhere in the south, probably. And he's sort of Chihuahua, Jack Russell mix. But he's very Jack Russell personality. Um, very bossy, very busy, um, and will organize your household. Um, very full of, him, full of himself. He really thinks he's the bee's knees and wonderful. So you, you know, this, no. that's right, you fight for it. Where is it? There, go on, get it, get it, get it, get it. And um, so I had a Jack Russell for many, many years and she was just wonderful. She loved going on long walks and um, she, yes, and she was terribly bossy. She bossed the, the people in the house, she bossed the dogs, she bossed our, all of our sheep. We had a sheep farm and she bossed the horses. Oh, everybody was told what to do. And I have a feeling that <laughs> you have this little guy too. <laughs> but very funny and actually very affectionate, aren't you? And my Jack Russell used to like to sleep at the bottom by my feet in the bed, under the bedclothes, <clears throat> of course, and I wasn't allowed to move. So that's what you'd like, wouldn't it? But you, you don't have to do that. But oh, well, very sweet little guy. I really, I really like him. <laughs> very, and I, I would imagine that, I don't know, but I would imagine there's no reason why he wouldn't get on with other dogs. Um, he is, he, as I say, he's, a three, he's three years old and he's a neutered male. So um, who knows, he would probably get on with a bitch better. But, uh, you know, I can't say that definitely. One would have to, you know, Bailey would have to be introduced to, if you had another dog already, they would have to be introduced. But he's very pretty, um, very sort of Jack Russell looking. Um, hey, Bailey, hoo-hoo, Bailey. Woo, here, go, go fetch it, go fetch it, go fetch it. That's right, he says, look at me. Aren't I handsome? Ah, gosh, I've got a wonderful tail. Ooh, 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 ooh. The only thing that Bailey doesn't like is being picked up. And who knows what happened to him as a puppy. He may have been, or as a young dog, 
picked up and dropped or something like that. You know, and there are some dogs that don't like being picked up. So there you are. We all have our likes and dislikes. But please come and see Bailey because I happen to think that if you see him, you'll pretty much like him and you'll pretty much want to take him home. Can you say hello, Bailey? So this is Ruger. I hope he's going to stay around here. He's very sweet. He would like to be an only cat, no dogs, no cats, but he, like, he has a lot of affection, as you can see, and no children. Um, so obviously just really likes to be the number one in the household. You can tell that straight away because he's trying to take me over right now. Now, Roz, you just sit there and let me make me a nice, comfortable lap that I can relax into because I'm on camera. And he's very sweet. He's got those beautiful colored eyes. So he, he's a real cuddle bunny, you know. And um, as I say so often, it, it's so lovely to come home from work uh, with someone like this to greet you, especially if you live alone and you, you know, it's sort of nice to have a bit of company when you come home. And then, oops, <laughs> what a nice chin rub. Yeah, but and so he's very sweet and he, we did him last month. So I'm not quite sure why somebody hasn't come along because they really like you, Ruga, because I really like you. Yeah. Oh, those are good. To, oh, yep. He said so. I, I would like plenty of toys, things to rub myself against. And um, I would like a nice, comfortable lap. And every time you sit down to have a cup of tea or coffee, I will be there. Um, hey, Ruga, come here. You're meant to be here talking to the ca that That's the camera, but it can't see you. He's, he's rubbing himself up against Paula. Hey, Ruga. Ruga. There you are. I, I really like this cat. You know, some cats just, yeah. And, and he doesn't mind who he disperses. He disperses his affections everywhere. So, um, but as I say, just has to be number one in the house, top cat. Um, and so you have to get used to the fact that you, whoever you are that takes him home, you, um, it is not your household. It is Ruger's household. And he will rearrange things to suit himself. So isn't that right, Ruger? And quite rightly, too. He said yes, because I am a C-A-T, a cat, and I am a cat who is particularly special, and I would really, really, really like you to come and take me home. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Yes. Can you look at the camera and say goodbye? Bye-bye. So now we, we have a very special cat who needs a very special home and someone with a very special heart. Um, Sophia is two years old. Uh, she is very, she's shy. Um, she needs to be in a household with no children. Really quite a quiet household. Um, she's an indoor only cat. Um, but oh boy, does she have a big heart. And she so much deserves to have a home because she has a feline immune, immunodeficiency virus, uh, which is, is similar to human AIDS. Um, the the uh, cat one is, is not, and I repeat, not infectious to humans. It is to other animals or certainly to other cats, which is why you need to just have her as an only cat. But she's only two, and she is just the sweetest cat, but she has to be in a cage so that, you know, she can't infect the other cats here. But this is the sort of, like the, uh, you know, the place where cats, except for Desi, didn't have anything wrong with him, but a lot of the cats here do actually have something wrong with them. That's very sweet of you. You're saying hello to her, darling. Um, so she, as I say, she's an indoor only, and, and she's very sweet. And she's just looking for the, a person who has not even the extra time, but just the willingness to take on a cat who is not perfect. And after all, which of us can say that we are perfect? I'm not sure I'd like to meet anybody who thinks they're perfect. It would be terribly dull. Um, so she, as you can see, she's just a darling. And I love the colorings. 
and of course she looks very nice against the turquoise bed uh, spread so please come and see Sophie because I do think that you know, Sophia rather I do think that if you saw her she's not really going to take up much more time than a than a cat who's you know 100% healthy she um, I would presume that she's on medication, um, but that's probably it. And the more peaceful and happy she is with you, the healthier she will keep. So please come and see Sophia. All right then, folks, here we are. So this is Suki. Uh, isn't she beautiful? I don't know, what, what do you think she is? I don't know, but anyway. No idea. We're a mix, but aren't we all mixes? Um, and this is Angie who's very kindly offered to tell us all about dogs. And so, uh, how old is Suki? Suki's seven years old. Okay. And um, she, uh, well, we're not exactly sure why she came here. It uh, could be a mix of reasons. Um, do you think she gets on with cats? We don't know for sure. We haven't mm. tested her. Um, yeah. You know, so I would say yeah. that, that yeah. that's, we're going to leave that one yeah. open. She doesn't like dogs, though. No. So she's really got to be an only dog. No cats, no, no, no cats, no dogs. She's and very obedience trained to me. She already Ooh. knows her sit, down, heel, weight. She knows that. Wow, them. isn't that a clever girl? Yeah. And look, she's got a great sense of humor, this dog. I can tell it, because you've got a lovely smile, don't you, sweetheart? You do have a lovely smile. Yes, and uh, yes, and she said, and I love walkies. I like a nice long walkie every day, if possible because actually we are a little overweight. I don't like to say that too loudly, but um, so we probably have to watch our diet, how much we eat, um, and make sure she can't open your fridge door. My dachshund got my fridge door open and ate half a pecan pie once. So, <laughs> so I'm sure Suki's not a thief. She's very well trained. And she, said, she sits and, and walks, and uh, so that's very easy. She loves her tummy rubs, loves them. Loves the tummy rub, do you, darling? Oh, and she's got this lovely V here in her you know. Um And, uh, yes, yeah, so, and it, it's nice that she's well-trained, and, and she, she probably would just like to do training with you sometimes in the garden or something like that, you know, and then, uh, and when you walk her, she would need to be on a leash. Um, and then sort of work on her with other dogs. I know my niece adopted a dog, again, from the south somewhere, and uh, he was terrible with other dogs. But it's been two years now, and she has really worked very hard, and, and he's great, and he comes when he's called. So when she sees other dogs, she just says, come, come, Yogi, come, and he comes and s stays with her. So anyway, but never mind. I think you are sweet. Yes, I do. I do. I do. Yes. So please come and see Suki because we do need a help and we do need love, as we all do. Uh, and I just, I love like this dog, don't you? She is. Yes. I just feel that you could give your heart to her. So off we go. Okay. So somebody's coming to see you soon, darling. Okay. Good girl. All right. Good girl. Thank you very much. Well, this is Desi. And he's in a nice little room here. He's a beautiful tabby. Hey, Desi, come here. Desi. <laughs> Keep whistling like you do to a dog. So Desi uh, came in, and when he came in, he was very sad. And he was actually very mad, because I don't quite know what his past was, but he didn't like being moved. Well, now he's very glad. So he's neither sad nor mad, but he is a very glad cat. And he is just, that's right, dear, display yourself. Display yourself, that's right. And he is quite, uh, missed, can't understand at all why nobody has come to take him home, to a new home where he's just ready to settle down and make your life happy and be ready to, to do what you would like him to do and just to check up on a few things that maybe need to be changed. You know, cats like to have things their way, arranged how they are and um, that's Desi but he's a nice and he's just a nice size he's not too small he seems to have really fallen rather for this black I don't know who the black little black one is but um, so, so um, Desi can you turn around dear so we can see you 
I rather like Desi, actually, and I like the way he's really made the effort to realize that life is different. His old life has gone, and that he, has going to have a, he is going to have a new life. And it will be just as good, if not better, than his old life. Um, and so I, I like that. I think that shows great strength of character, strength of mind. And um, so, yes, yeah, so he, he says, I just prowl, prowl around all day, and I, I'm just waiting for my person to come. So when you come, please come and see Desi, because I rather like him. I, as I say, I think he has great strength of character. I think he's very brave. As many people watching now will know, it's sometimes not easy to leave one life and pass into a different life and, um, you know, get used to it and, and find different things to be joyful about. And so that's what Desi is waiting for. Isn't it, my sweetheart? Yes, you are just a lovely, lovely boy. Cadence. Good. Oh, good. Good. So, this is Cadence. I don't know anything about it. So, let me see. How old is Cadence? Uh, three. She's, she's three. three years old. We were just talking. She's going to keep coming in and out of the camp. <laughs> uh, and she obviously needs a lot of exercise. And she obviously needs a really nice yard that's fetched in. Hello, sweetheart. And uh, she seems to be quite good about obedience. Do you think she's been to obedience classes? I guess she's had some sort of training. Some sort of training. Um, her energy sometimes yes. overrides her obedience training. Yes, she yes. She loves Hello, to uh, chase birds. So I oh. think she's something of a bird dog in yes, there somewhere. In her. Yes, in She'll run around looking in the sky for the, hey. the ducks. Hey, come, come, come here. Come here, Katie. Come here, girl. Go. So, yes, but... Um, does she get on with other dogs? Uh, uh, she was surrendered to us with uh, the answer of no, she does not get, get on with other dogs. dogs. But okay. we haven't noticed uh, her being um, aggressive towards well, all yes. dogs. So, yes. um, yeah. so I, I think we'll leave that up to yeah. the uh, manager and dog coordinator. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. see. Well, it might be. If hey, Cadence, come here. Let's have, you sit. Let's have you quiet for a little while. Okay, oh. oops. <laughs> Kind of good girl. That's a good girl. Good Just girl. so people can really see how beautiful you are, sweetheart. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if Paula is, you're right, that she has greyhound in her or something, something. like that. Her action is really, um, Weimaraner, Vishla, you know, some kind of heavy-duty sporting dog is in there. Yeah. She's and lovely. She can she's throw lovely. a tennis ball mm. and she'll ignore it. A bird flies by and she's just well, <laughs> yeah. trying to go. So, for it. Yeah. Probably, woo, probably better if you don't have chickens. Yeah. And <laughs> as I said, she needs a lot of exercise. This is because she's here and she does get exercise, but not as much as she should. So if you're a hiker, brilliant. Or just somebody who really likes to walk. Um, that's what she needs. And um, otherwise, she just needs love and attention. And we will see whether, if you had another dog, whether they would get on. It would be nice in the fenced-in yard that she has to have um, if she had another dog to play with all day. Um, because I have a friend who has a very active golden retriever who's now a year old. And um, so she, she, he goes to doggy daycare twice a week and plays with other dogs and gets really exhausted. <laughs> oh, oh dear, poor Angie. I think you're, Angie's getting her exercise too. Oh, I mean, they're playmates, so... <laughs> yeah, and a good conversationalist too. Now, isn't that great? Yeah. And I would imagine probably really enjoys going in cars, but particularly trucks. I have some dogs just strike me as being truck dogs because I can see her sitting up in the front with her nose pointed up forward and really taking in what's going on. And, oh, ooh, whoa, who's that? Thank you, Angie, very much. Now, will you say goodbye to the goodbye to everybody? Cadence. Cadence, would you say goodbye to everybody? <laughs> You're quick. Okay, that's Cadence. Please come and see her. She's, she's, she's quite something. Well, look at this. How could you not love this little dog? This is Lady. She is a real lady. And um, she's 12 years old, 
or 12 years young, whichever you like to say, I would say definitely with Lady that you're 12 years young, aren't you, darling? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And her owner died, and so here she is. There wasn't anybody who could sort of quite take her on. Um, but she loves to cuddle. She, I have noticed she's a little nervous when you approach her, you know, from, from the top. But so she's a little nervous around her head. I don't know why, but she loves to cuddle. Would you like to come up on, would you be happy to come up on my knee, darling, and have a real cuddle? Oh, yes, she says, this is what I really like. And I'm hoping that whoever takes me home gives me my new forever home, that I will be able to sleep on your bed, <clears throat> maybe in your bed. But she said, I quite understand if you don't like to do that with dogs, but um, that would be a big bonus for me. And I'm awfully cuddly and cozy at night, too. So, oh, oh boy, I can feel my heart going. So you better get in here quickly to take her home. But please do anyway, because this is not the place marvelous and lovely and wonderful as it is and just people that so I can't even tell you about the staff here and how marvelous they are but <clears throat> for a little dog who has lost her forever person what she thought was her forever person and is 12 years old she really needs to be in her new home but of course everybody here has fallen in love with her too yes I wonder what she's got Yorkie in her but I don't think she's pure Yorkie, do you? I don't think so. No. She's schnauzer or something. Oh, schnauzer. It says mini schnauzer. Mini schnauzer, yeah. Yes, yes. Now, well. if we can get her to turn around, she's, she has a smile. Oh, she's got a good smile. Yes. <laughs> come here, come here. Come, here. Come, come, sweetheart. Can you smile? Can you smile for the camera? Come, come here. Come. Let's just sit down. Come. So maybe I'll just scratch you and you smile for the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm, do I smell good? Mm, mm, I like that. Good kisser, too. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> oh, yes, and there's a little tail going at the back. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Please come and see her because she needs you. And she is 12. She's got quite a few years ahead of her. No reason why. She's a small dog. And um, Paula behind the camera was just saying her dog is, is 18. So there you are. She's got a good few years left in her. She likes her walkies too. And oh, she does. Yes. yes. And oh, who went by? Somebody or oh, another dog went by. So it seems to me she might be quite happy to have another dog too in her life. She flirts with the bigger dogs in the kennel. Oh, oh are you a flirt? Oh, how did I not know that? I could have guessed that though. I could have guessed. Ooh. Oh, she said, oh, that's a really handsome guy going out there for his walkies. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you are a little minx, aren't you? <laughs> so, with that, we are going to say goodbye. Goodbye to Angie here, who's helped us, and um, to Amy and to Paula behind the camera, and to Ross. Yes, that's right, that's right. You're not going to be here next time I come. Please keep thinking about us, and um, please, please, please come and adopt a dog. They need you so badly. And to all the people who have been so kind and wonderful over the years and have adopted a dog from here or adopted a dog from anywhere, I thank you from the bottom of my heart.